Alright YouTube, welcome back to another video today. I'm going over some YouTube tips on how to get more views and how to get more subscribers. What I think a good method is, I don't even have a lot of subscribers, but I still think I'm going to try a lot of this so I can gain some. And I do have over 100,000 views on my channel. I'm going to show you exactly how I did that. So let's get into the video. Alright, as you can see I'm using vidIQ just show me a lot of my achievements um, if you want to use this just go to the Chrome Web Store just search vidIQ install it, click on it, do it and sign up and everything and then if you want to get to the screen I'm on uh, achievements you just click achievements on the side here and uh, you can see all this stuff So. My key achievements, I achieved 100,000 views in May, and I'm on pace to get 125,000 by tomorrow. And I have 425 subs, I got 400 on June 6th. I got 50 uploads um, in also in May, so a lot of this happened in May and June. I am about, I am about three and a half thousand watch hours. Um, I got that in June. I have over 500 comments, and here is some of my top performing months. August 2020, I got 86 subscribers. Now, 18,000 views in June 2021. Wow, that is, jeez, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, I got the most I've uploaded in one month. Apparently, is eight in February 2019, and. In June 2021, 20, 250 likes and 500 hours watch in June 2021 and 95 comments in August 2020. And here's my top performing video, which I'm going to go back to later, which is on pace to get to 50,000 views by the end of the month, which is almost half of my total channel views. But yeah, now I'm going to go into how I made this happen, how I got so many views on some videos, and how I can try to turn those views more into subscribers. Okay, so I know that most of you out there, anytime, I, this could happen all the time, as randomly you're just thinking about something, maybe you're playing a game, maybe you want to download a game, maybe you want to do something, I don't know, but you don't know how to do it, you need help. What you're going to do is you're going to go to YouTube, and you're going to search how do I do this? Whatever. Whatever you're looking to do. And then if you you click the top video, and then you maybe learn. If you ever notice, those videos could have hundreds and thousands or millions of views. It's because there's so many other people doing the exact same thing. They're searching for a video that they need help with. And yeah, if if you if you need help with something. I guarantee there's hundreds of thousands of other people that are searching the same thing. So even small YouTubers like me, I managed to get almost 50, th I'm on track to getting 50,000 views on one of my tutorials. But that's not all. If I go over to my tutorials playlist, these are all old videos, but let's click on this one. 17,000 views in May 2020, that's over a year old. It's not bad. How about this one? Okay, this one's got 21,000. Cringy voice, bro. Uh, this one. Right, 16,000. And remember, I have 420 subscribers. So, yeah, I accidentally closed that. Like I said, I'm, I only have... I only have 400 some subscribers, and this is how many views oh. I'm getting. But, so that one, this one not so much. Uh, let's skip that one. How to play. This one's not even old. Both of these aren't old. This one's got 9k from April. This one's got 4k from April. See, it's not bad. Let's click on this one. An updated tutorial on how to use a controller. This is the tutorial. Using a controller on Black Ops 2 Plutonium. That is, this is a video. It's let's collapsed. See. Got 45,000 views. And it's on track to be at 50k by the end of the month. This, you see how random this video is? Like, it doesn't even have to be a tutorial you think you'd ever use. 
but what I'm telling you is making tutorials on stuff they say you figure something out you could all you to do you make a tutorial on that because you think you know other people are going to be wanting to do the same thing so if you make a video on it that's easy views and then you're going to have to try to find ways to turn those views into subscribers which I'm going to start doing and which I'll try to help you with next yeah so one quick thing about this video is that um back a while ago when I wanted to use a controller in plutonium I asked my my friend Nathan how to do it and he said you gotta download DS4 plug my controller in I used DS4 and my controller worked I was like I didn't know how to do that maybe I can make a video on it I make a video on literally downloading a software plugging your controller in and it working obviously for some reason people have problems I don't know why but yeah there's a lot of comments on this video but some good some bad but it was that easy. This it, it didn't take me that long to make. It's a six minute long video basically. I learned how to do it in ten seconds. And yeah, it was it was just out of the blue. I was like, alright, I'll make a video on it. But yeah, let's continue with the video. Alright, something else I have is always go through all the customization options. So to start off, go to your uh, YouTube so studio. That's my house tour. Always starts. Go to customization and you can make a channel trailer if you'd like or you can just use a video you already have like I have but I might change that soon I have a video for returning subscribers so like so this one means a trailer is like if someone opens your channel this this video will play right away and it's for returning subscribers it's basically the same thing but if you're already subscribed now your featured sections see if I can get an example of that like all of What's this. Up guys? Oh my, this my first tour. Okay. It's all what you feature here. This is all. Like you can switch the order of it and everything. But yeah, this is how I have it. I don't have any shorts. But branding, you have your profile picture, your banner, and a watermark is something that you're definitely going to want to use because it's a button for people to use to subscribe. So what you can look up is YouTube video watermark. And you can just find one off of the internet, and pretty easy. You can just use one you like, then upload it onto here. Basic info: you got your uh, description, you got your channel URL. I have a custom one because I have over 100 subs. Uh, you got your social medias, and then yeah, that's my contact info. But yeah, that's basically it for the channel customization. Another great a great way to gain subscribers get people to click on your video is having a proper thumbnail and make sure your video is edited so if you don't have an editing software or a thumb like you can't know how to make thumbnails just do some research there's free ones out there but I do recommend making thumbnails because people are going to want to click if, if they see the visual it's in front of them if it, it's appealing they're going to want to click on the video and if your video isn't, isn't properly edited, like I don't even prop, I don't, I don't even edit my videos crazily, but I do it enough to just till I'm satisfied. But yeah, just you got to be making thumbnails and make sure your videos are edited. I use Adobe Photoshop Elements and Premiere Elements. But yeah. Now, obviously, I'm sure most of you are aware. At any time you want to, any time you want to gain subscribers, the easiest thing to do, maybe beginning, end of the video, any time during the video just say subscribe that's basically it if, if this if this tutorial is helping you or whatever your video is about you just say subscribe or obviously you could say drop a like whatever most youtubers do that but um another thing you can do is offer something to viewers if you reach a subscribers a subscriber goal you could do one or the other or you could do them together you could say Hey, I'd like to reach 100 subscribers. Will you help me with this? I'm getting 40,000 views on a video. I'd like to get to 100 subscribers. That easy. You could say, I'm going to be doing a giveaway at the end of this month if I reach, you know, 200 subscribers. And then you don't have to tell them what the giveaway is going to be because if you leave that like, like if you don't, if people don't know what it is, they might want to be excited and then subscribe so then they can see what it is later on 
or you could just say what it is. But yeah, those are two easy ways. It's just set a milestone or like a goal, or to offer a giveaway if you reach a goal. And another thing is, if you're like me, and you get a, you've got videos with thousands and thousands of views, but only 400 subs, you'll probably have this statistic too that's close to this. In the last 28 days, watch time, you see us all over YouTube, people talk about this all the time, but 0.4% of people that watch are subscribed, which is just, somehow 0.4% are subscribed and 99.7% aren't. That is above 100, but whatever. Um, yeah, this is one thing that sucks, one thing that I believe I need to work on. It's another thing I need to get people to subscribe. But yeah, um, you might have a similar statistic to this. So as I said, tutorials are a great way to gain views, gain subscribers. I made mistakes along the way with my tutorials. I could have a lot more subscribers now if I did something else with those tutorials. Because obviously, 50,000 views and 400 subscribers isn't isn't ideal. But it's okay. I'm I'm I, I'm gonna, I'm on my way. I, I I'm gonna be smart now. But yeah, that's. I really recommend using vidIQ so you can see all your statistics. And heck, you could do a tutorial I'm doing. You could make a video on how to gain subs, how to how to use vidIQ, how to look at your stats. But yeah, that's that's what I recommend. I recommend making tutorials on stuff that you learn that you think other people don't know how to do. But yeah, that's basically it. Um thanks for watching. Please drop a sub. I my goal is a thousand subscribers possibly by the end of 2021 if I grind enough. But yeah, uh thank you for watching and uh see you next time.